So my bed level mesh is really showing a, a steep lag bender curve in it when I go to level it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull, I'm going to take these screws out right here and then underneath it there's these little metal, looks like aluminum like uh, spacers and I'm going to sand those down and get those the right size and then I'm going to show you a before and after and see if it does anything. I really wasn't happy with the way this turned out. I spent a lot of time sanding, measuring, and, and working it to get it just right, and I got horrible results. But this is something I really needed to fix because it was drastically affecting my prints. So I found another way, and which is the nylock method, and I'm going to show you the results, and I'm going to let that speak for itself. This is what I was working with, and it wasn't great. This was causing some dramatic issues with my first layer on larger prints. Unfortunately, due to the difference in height from one side to the other, I was looking at a range difference of almost 0.6 millimeters, which is massive. To put it in layer terms, if I was printing at a 0.2 millimeter layer height, this is like a three layer difference from side to side. Due to this drastic change, the bed mesh calibration wasn't keeping up and my first layers were suffering. I needed this fixed. And after much research, I stumbled across the nylock method. So what I've done now is I've basically removed the bed from the, I guess the carriage that it rides on. And normally what we're looking at right here is it sits on these uh, little aluminum spacers and then this screw goes in from the top, okay? But what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be replacing uh, those screws, uh, or at least those spacers, with this setup right now. We're gonna take one nylon washer. I'm gonna take one nylon locking nut. And how we're gonna do it is I'm gonna put one side screw through the normal side that it sits on and we'll put the nylon washer like that and then I'm going to put, take this lock this lock nut this nylon lock nut I'm going to put it right on there while doing this I tried to be mindful of the cable connected to the heater bed I wanted to make sure that it didn't become too twisted up the other thing that I was focusing on was the tightness of the nylon nut against the nylon washer. We're not going for extreme tightness. We need it tight enough to turn but not so tight that we start damaging the bed and washers. We want to make sure that there is enough tension to keep the screws from slipping out of adjustment once we start fine tuning the bed. Go slow. Take your time with it. Uh, don't be in a rush. You want to make sure that you don't over tighten that the last thing that anybody wants to do is damage their bed. I know that I periodically checked it to make sure that the screw and the nut weren't too tight. So the center post here, this is our zero, okay? This is where we're gonna establish our, our zero point for the four corners. And this is gonna be uh, obvious when we start um, doing the bed level in Clipper, okay? Because basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the zero off that center point and then we're going to attempt to adjust the four corners to match that zero. That's going to get us really close to where we need to be. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so right now we have our, our default profile in there from before. And so this is going to be test one. We, we installed the nylocks. We're going to run it through a uh, five by five. And we're going to see how it goes. Basically what I want to see with the 5x5 is how the, the bed mesh looks now that we've installed the nylocks. We saw where it was before, but where are we at now? And this is also going to show us where we need to go. So I feel that this is a fairly important step in the process. However, when we do fine tune it later, we're not going to do a 5x5 five five every time we turn the screw. And I'm going to show you a fast and easy way to uh, get through that. Okay, so we lowered the one side. So this back corner has to come down. So as you can see on our on our first one, so this is this is after the nylock. So let's let's see. Um, 
Okay, here's here's our default. Here's with the nylock. Okay, so we should be able to bring that down to almost level. Okay, so that should be pretty good. And so we'll we'll do that here in a minute. Now that the nylock mod's installed, what I want to do is create a uh, bed mesh. And what we're going to do is we're going to calibrate it, kind of do like a little compare and contrast of where we were before and where we're at now. This gives us an idea of where we're going. But in order to do that, we have to heat up our extruder and our heater bed. And I, I do that just like we would do on the stock uh, Sobel firmware. So in this particular case, I'm heating up to 120 and 60. You obviously could play around with that a little bit more. You could run up to 175 and maybe like 65. You know, kind of just set it, calibrate that bed mesh at the temps that you generally run. I usually run anywhere between like 60 and 75. So generally 60. So I'm going to leave it at 60. Um, now the two ways that we can do this are the first one is that we basically um, do a bed mesh and look where it's at and then adjust the screws in either a clockwise or counter uh, clockwise manner and just kind of get a visual way. Unfortunately, this is a, a little time consuming is because after every adjustment, we have to um, do a, a bed mesh, which takes a while. Uh, I have mine set at five by five. Some of them do a 10 by 10. Either way, it's very time consuming. Um, the faster way to do that and the way that I prefer to get us down into the ballpark range where we need to be is that we're going to use the um, screw tilt calculate okay in order to do this we have to make some changes to our uh, printer config and I'll show you what we do here so the first thing is we have to set up where our bed screws are at okay so we 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 installed four screws the center one is going to be the zero. And so here are the coordinates for the four bed screws. And they're also labeled front left, front right, back right, back left. Okay. But when we run the screws, uh, the screws tilt adjust command, okay, you'll notice the difference between this one and the tilt adjust is that we have the center here. Okay. This is our zero. Okay. And this is what it calibrates its measurements off of okay so basically what it's going to do is it's going to move the extruder over that center post it's going to take a measurement and then it's going to hit the front left the front right the back right and the back left and once it's done doing that it's going to tell us how many turns or or how much to turn those screws in either a clockwise or counterclockwise direction that we need to uh, do in order to level that those screws with the center post of the bed. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter that command in. We should be okay. We've already homed it. We have to home it first, and let's let this go and see what happens. Okay, here we go. It's going to get that center post right there. Okay, here we go. So on mine, it's not too bad. Um, I've been working with it a little bit today. So uh, how do we read this? So it basically does it like a clock, okay? Think of an analog clock where you have your, your, your minute hand. And so what we would do is you have uh, 60 minutes in an hour. So 60 minutes would be one full turn. So in this particular case, we're going to go two minutes. Um, if it 15 would be a quarter turn, 30 would be half a turn. Um, if this had a one here, then that would be one full turn. Um, if it was like one hour and 30 minutes, then you know that you would need to turn that one full turn plus half a turn, okay? But in this particular case, the adjustments are very minute. So what do we have? We have uh, the front left, we need to move it two minutes clockwise. 
uh, front right, we need to do uh, seven minutes. So that's barely any movement at all. Back right. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move each one of these like five minutes, okay? And um, do my best to uh, do that. So I'm, I'm going to kind of leave that front left alone. And we need to, in order for me to get to that back right, I'm going to need to lift that up. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you what I do. I'm going to pull this off. Okay. And see if we can move that camera just a little bit that way. There we go. Okay. And what I'm going to do is we're going to do a counterclock, or was it clockwise? Um, yeah, we're doing clockwise. So here we go. We're going to move it like five. We'll do each one of these like five. Let's see where we're at. Okay. See what we got. There we go. This isn't the best webcam for this, but hopefully you get the idea. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run that screws tilt calculate command. Okay, so look at that. I feel really good with that. Um, it's pretty difficult, at least for me, to get it down to like zero. Um, usually I can get a couple of them zero, and then a couple of them will be three, and then you'll adjust those ones that are like, let's say, three. And the next thing you know, um, these numbers shoot up dramatically to like 10 or something like that. So if you can get them all down to about here, that's pretty even across the board. So what I do at this point is now that I've done that let's let's take a height map okay we're just gonna calibrate and see I'm just gonna call this default let's see where it goes okay it's done let's take a look let's see what we got Oh wow, that's pretty good. I'm gonna take it. Um, sometimes I have around 0 0.240 is usually where I I get things. Um, the lowest I've got this bed is like a 0.186 doing a uh, five by five, which is pretty good. But 0.2, I'll take it. Um, as you can see. This is a big difference than 0.6. I think before we were like 0.5, uh, 6, 7, somewhere in that range on the original bed. Um, it was pretty bad. And like I said before, it was really messing with my prints. But if you can get right down in this area, I think you're pretty good. And uh, I have another Sovol, and it has uh, its bed is very similar to this. And um, from a lot of the Silval forums, I also see some beds that are pretty bad and out of whack. So hopefully this gives some people some ideas and um, can actually um, resolve any first layer issues that they may be having where their bed mesh isn't able to compensate due to the, um, the difference. Uh, and there are the extremes and difference between one side to the other side of the bed. So I hope this helps, and happy printing, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your uh, day and week. Here is some bonus footage testing out my time-lapse setup with the freshly calibrated bed mesh that we just created with the Nylock setup.